In typical me fashion, I'm not going to talk about a book that I mentioned in my previous video, but I'm going to talk about Human Acts by Han Kang. Han Kang, the winner of the International Man Booker Prize for, I believe, The Vegetarian, which is the only other Han Kang book I have read. And that book, I think I was far too young to read it and fully understand it. I must have been 17 or 18 when I read that, maybe a little bit older. But this, reading Human Acts by Han Kang at the age I am now, I fully understand the meaning and the pain behind a lot of what is in this book. So just to, for context, Human Acts is a book by Han Kang about the military attacks on Gwangju in 1980s South Korea, when South Korea at the time was being ruled by another dictator. Uh, they had previously had a dictator before them who was then ousted by their own government, which is something I actually learned through this book and has actually made me want to go off to read more about South Korean history post, obviously, Japanese imperialism. So that is the context under which is happening. You are experiencing the attacks on these people during um, the Guangzhou affair in the 1980s uh, and the consequences of that to the characters that you meet at the beginning of the book. So the first chapter is, and it's a very long chapter, is just setting up the what is happening. It It is basically in real time of the events of the military incursions on Guangzhou, the city of Guangzhou, and how this young man, uh, Dong He, is looking for his friend. And that is the context, essentially. And he is helping out at this place where they are just collecting the dead bodies that have been shot and killed in the street, and they are, you know, helping people reunite with the bodies. That is the basic overview of the setting of this book, and then the rest of the book, so past that first chapter, and that's not really spoilers, that, that I went into that with a, you know, basically not telling you very much. But the rest of the book, it does delve more into the Han Kang style, at least the Han Kang style I'm aware with because I have read The Vegetarian, where it goes deeper into almost the poetry that Han Kang is great at writing in. The It starts discussing the soul, it starts discussing um, just deep, just, violent acts that have happened, the consequences of that on people, the psychological damage that people have endured because of these attacks in Guangzhou. And I, again, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If you can speak Korean, please, you know, correct me in the comments down below. But this book is really dealing with that pain and trauma and how different people are experiencing that pain. And not just that, but also the consequences of it, not just on the psyche, but on society as a whole. There are, and again, I'm gonna try and avoid spoilers. There are passages about censorship about of books. There are passages about what happened to people who were activists at the time against the government. Uh, what happened to people who are activists now? What happened to, uh, things that scarred people? Um, it deals with death, it deals with how the soul feels after death, or at least how they feel, how parents deal with the death of their children, how the author themselves, because the the author does put themselves in this book, in, in an epilogue of the book, uh, how they dealt with this, because again, much like many other authors who are from the 20th century and post-World War II, 20th century, a lot of them were students in a time where there was a lot of unrest in the world. I don't think people really recognize how difficult the world was after World War II. Again, look at me, a 25-year-old saying that, but in different parts of the world, there were experiences of huge political upheaval and change. There were countries where now we see them as these utopias, um, when they're not actually utopias now either, but they were going through massive political upheaval. They were, students were on the streets protesting, there was violence and clashes between students and uh, the police or the army. You see that all across Asia and Africa, you're seeing that in Europe as well. Uh, the US, obviously, the very well known, the Vietnam protests, the Korean War protests themselves, where there were clashes. It's something we're not really seeing now, which 
that's a topic for another video entirely. It might be for the worse that you're not seeing people really standing up to governments. But again, I'm not. Let's not talk about that. That's not the point of this video. Uh, but that's the backdrop of this book. And uh, again, having only read the vegetarian and at the time being very young for the vegetarian, I think not being mature enough to understand that book and its meanings. Now having the maturity to understand this, obviously I could never put myself in the shoes of Kang or any of the um, characters themselves because my life experience has not been one that is described in this book. But I can uh, uh, insert either empathy or sympathy because I get those the wrong way around all the time. I can feel that towards the characters in this in a far better way. And I think that's a good context to under which in, in consuming this book, because although this book can be read and you will be moved, you will be touched, you will, it will tap something in your soul where you, it will make your spine shiver. That will, this will, you know, affect you like that, even if you don't understand the political climate. If you don't understand the politics in general, it doesn't necessarily need to be South Korea, but that kind of politics and what what's happening in the world at that time. Again, this is the 80s. This isn't long ago, it's 40 years ago. Like, my parents are older than what happened in this book. That's how recent it was. I think, again, the con understanding that context of how recent that was, the 80s? where it's describing what was happening. Uh, it says Gwangju, South Korea, in the wake of a viciously suppressed student uprising. Viciously suppressed, and the book really, really goes into that vicious suppressing. And not only that, but just the, the frenzy of a student protest, the frenzy of people fighting against what they perceive to be a dictatorship. Well, not just perceived, though, correct, obviously. Uh, the frenzy that people were vehemently opposing this. Um, it, again, it's something that we, in, in the West, maybe elsewhere in the world, it's probably not the case, but here in the West, in our very comfortable Western Europe or North American perspective, we don't really feel that we don't really see that because again a completely different topic but of complacency perhaps um you know uh, britishness here in the uk you know we don't we don't do that here anymore obviously with that in the 70s and i guess we saw what happened to people then but you really get a feel of that. You get a feel of how Kang feels about that. Every sentence, paragraph, it seeps with that pain of Kang themselves through the pain of the characters. And this book doesn't just concentrate on one character. It starts with one character and then it branches off and it basically addresses everyone who was connected to this one character and what happened to them or how they feel or the consequences or their, what their souls are like. I don't want to, again, go too far into this because I will be spoiling this and I think, go read this. Even if, like me, pick it up from your local library because in the current climate we live in, I think we should be supporting libraries because they will be giving something to people who cannot afford you know, buying this, what? A book is nearly £10, but a library is free. It's a different topic, obviously, but if you can read this book, go and read it. If you can give this book to someone who you know will be interested in this, do that, because it's an important book. Much like The Vegetarian was a fantastic book, an award-winning book, this book, to me, just spoke volumes and I think, uh, I'm sure loads of you read this, you know, it's a Han Kang book. Of course loads of people read this, so it's not me saying this is a niche underground book that no one's heard of. But if, you, if you've not, if you've not read a Han Kang book, read it, pick it up, please, because it's, it's important. And it's about a place where here in the West we don't really know the history of. A, a lot of people don't know that post-war history, and I think it's important. So thank you for watching. Please go check out Human Acts. There will be a link to the book 
in the description down below if need be or go to your library and pick up the book. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you're reading right now in the comments down below. Like, subscribe and share this video with a friend or family member and hey, I hope you read a great book today.